Aside the judiciary, executive, and legislature, the media is noted to be the fourth state of the realm. This gives us an upper hand when it comes to certain things. And Article 162 of the 1992 Constitution also gives the media the opportunity to have a free and fair dialogue anywhere they find themselves. My name is Faslamo and welcome to Broad Daylight. Today on Broad Daylight, we are talking about certain threats coming to the media and how people are actually talking about it. But before that, my sister Lydia will help me with this side review. All right, so Lydia, what do we have on cmonline.com.gh? Okay, good morning to our viewers. How are you doing, Priscilla? I'm very fine, and you? Oh, okay, I'm also good. Well, um, moving on to cmonline.com.gh. On our first story, we have judiciary's letter to media, an affront to free speech, says the NDC. And also, it's in our collective interest to take COVID-19 vaccine, says Vice President Baumia. Vetting, reject Akufuad and insincere apologies, hold them to account, NDC to minority. Mm -hmm. And lastly, Monday 8th, my declared public holiday. As mm -hmm. you all know, the 6th March is on Saturday, so mm -hmm. the president has moved the holiday to Monday. Okay. That is the 8th March, so it's a holiday. Okay. Relax and enjoy, yes. Mm -hmm. So, oh, okay, that will be all for the side trip. My name is Liga. If you want the details and more stories like this, visit our website at thecmonline.com.gh. Over to you, Priscilla. Thank you so much, Lydia. All right, we yeah, are moving straight to business of the day. All right, so Lydia, it's like the freedom and independence of the media <laughs> is actually now becoming some way when i say some way it's like it's becoming threatened yeah um the media is now not safe that is how i see it because the people who tend to actually say the truth are those people who are being hunted yeah. and actually brought down now um there is an allegation going on that the judiciary brought out a statement that media houses should pull down certain content from their platforms. And before I just want you to read that particular statement from the judiciary so that our viewers will actually know what you are talking about and follow. Well, okay. First of all, this was a letter from the judiciary yesterday, one in the media, I can say. Okay. Well, first of all, the statement says, the judicial service in letter to the media houses, which according to it had published spiteful, vengeful and incendiary comments about the justices of the Supreme Court, ordered the media platforms to pull all calls to be pulled down and cleared from the platform all such statements and speeches. The judicial service also demanded that those media houses as well as others prevent the publication of such statements and speeches on the platform and forthwith exercise the highest level of discernment discretion and responsibility insofar as the publication of statements and speeches regarding the administration of justice is concerned. That's according to the judiciary. <laughs> some media houses have been publishing some content according to them that is not appropriate, so they should pull it down. But it didn't specifically mention the content in the media houses in particular, but it's like they generalize the thing according to all media houses, so they should be careful on the content they publish on their platform and all that. <laughs> but... <laughs> I think that you can't just attack the media without you pinpointing specifically <laughs> what they should pull down. Well, I think that it's related to the Supreme Court hearing case, yeah, because also, during the process, now some media also, they were not allowed to go inside, they okay. were outside. After okay. the hearing, they only come out and grant interviews and all that. So I think that some comments via the judges and the lawyers grant to the media, no? they also, I think that they twisted some parts. I won't say twisted, but maybe they didn't say exactly what happened in the courtroom. So they are saying that's like they are portraying some kind of idea about the Supreme Court to the media, the public. That's why they are saying so they should be mindful. They should be like be on the content that they post. Yeah. We are all actually monitoring the court proceedings, yeah. and then even the some were not monitoring. Yes, yes. No, it's like as you said, they take. The feedback from the media yes. and the media can't come out and say things on their own because no, at the end of every proceeding they have a delegate from both parties and the media too there are many there are many media houses uh, there yeah there are many media but i am trying to say that they were not they don't feed on their own information exactly so i you know if you watch carefully after every section of the court proceedings they have a delegate yeah. That comes to speak on their behalf, uh, depending on the political party or yes. depending on, 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 on the people with issues at the court. So what they put out, it's what the media takes. <laughs> so there is no way... The media 
house it, can stand up and write anything. Exactly. And, well, and I, I believe, say, yes, see, answer na any for any, I bet to a diabo of binani nigina bosu, say, everybody. I believe, say, the, what the person is trying to talk about, you know, he or she, that in the judiciary has um, the, the reasons for this particular exactly. statement. Exactly. Not necessarily and, because of the Supreme Court issue. I think they have, they yeah, no, uh -huh, no, they've seen this, something. This is basically from the judiciary, I guess. Yes. Because um, the final proceedings will be on the 4th of March. Yes. And that is two days from now. And then um, I think they want to clear certain things. Yes, before the final Before the day. final uh -huh. verdict comes. But before the final verdict comes, we in our area will all be monitoring. <laughs> we all be monitoring. Yeah, but as I said, no, not all of us is watching them. Some of us, some of us feed on social media trends. What the social media is trending on, whether it's true or not. I mean, what the social media also uh -huh. sees in the classroom is what they put. Exactly. It's so what they also me. publish. <laughs> I think first of all, the judiciary bringing out this post or this letter is not necessary because yeah. we are already watching the TVs and reading all publications on social media. So, they are, of course, not in a media for no trauma. Eh? Exactly. So, I don't know who they are beefing or who they are threatening. I, mean, I don't understand. Because if um, I am watching the 24 7 the proceedings okay. and, and I know what and what went on. And a media person comes and say otherwise. Adam, I'm a shy so no, well, I believe the media person. Exactly. So there is no way that the media will try hmm. to put fear and panic. Or you, you remember one comment that the uh, information minister, the designate, said uh, after a particular proceeding that the media is trying to pollute the mind yes, yes, uh, yes, of, yes. of the judges. Like the media is painting a picture. And even the ju uh, judges for the NPP. Yes, warned in office. Said yes. He should be mind, mindful of what he says to the media. Yes. Because there was some information around the media, according to the judge, it's not true. But Charlie, it's still warning. So maybe I think that this warning or this statement is isn't it right procedure or maybe but some in no. in a way too it's not right. Yeah, the thing is, um nobody is condemning what they have brought to. Yeah. We want you to be emphatic and specific exactly. on Exactly. What exactly a is are you? A. Yes. I didn't know Gina saw they can you know, they can you know if party A is as false, oh okay, then we take yeah, the blame. But you can't that. make it in a general way. You can't make a general statement and say that <laughs> the media what we are threatening the media. Hey. <laughs> oh <laughs> the media is a powerful tool. Exactly. Yes. Right. It's one powerful tool that people don't really recognize. But mm. you know the D, we are all under an umbrella, yeah. and the the our president, Afel Money, wants to just sit aloof. Yesterday, they had a press conference okay. at the International Press Center on Monday. Okay. That is the GJA, okay. held by the president Afel Money. Okay. Or in his statement, he made a lot of suggestions, a lot of like mm -hmm. statement. But some says, I say, let me quote. This hurriedly convened press conference has been triggered by a statement by the judicial service. Mm -hmm. In which it ordered the media to immediately pull down from their platforms statements and speeches which convey in or insinuate hateful, mm -hmm. spiteful, vengeful, incendiary communication against justices of the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. especially those sharing the election petition. Furthermore, the media must prevent the publication of statements, such statements and speeches. The judicial service then threatened to take what is called appropriate action to ensure that the media do not abuse the right to free speech. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, the GJA is to put mildly drum strike in reading the obnoxious directive pregnant with insidious threat to media freedom in Ghana, which is started as a land of freedom and justice. With all due respect, this is scandalous. That is according to the president of GJA for money. And they, they also made yeah. a final speech. I say, if not reversed immediately. The ill advice, ill timed, ill crafted, and ill issued statement by the judiciary can provoke a dynamic backlash, lower the dignity of the court in the eyes of freedom lovers and critical citizens, pollute the media environment, undermine our impressive media rankings globally, and deem the beacon of our democracy. Yes. Uh, I think so. he made the serious yes. point there. Because it, it, it's all good media, no whole uh -huh. Yes. So it, it, if you are raising allegations like this, you have to be emphatic and specific. Just say, say maybe example media A, this this media B. But like what you, you like now. In general, so yes. you put people in a dilemma. Like I mean, you know, and uh, certain people to have 
actually come out and say that Masa, Masa, <laughs> what, what you are talking about? It's a, it's a no no. What is um, Kweti Prab? According to him, there are so many issues which arrive out of this letter, this threat, mm -hmm. which has been issued allegedly on behalf of the judicial service. Mm -hmm. The statement does not even clarify what is an offense and what is not an offense. Exactly. Like he observed, adding, it's just a vague threat intending to cow us, that is the media. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, however, noted, we media, we're not responsible for the anger in the society. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the anger in the society has been caused by the irresponsibility of those at the helm of the affairs in all the departments of nation, and we cannot be held responsibility for the irresponsibility of our leaders, he insisted. Do you understand? Like yesterday, you made a specific point that Obile Kovia, a ballast paper, or pulling station, and by this time, you're going to need to the answer or the bus. <laughs> but a state official, call your head, you're not free. I mean, we can answer the law on a protective system, people. Yeah. <laughs> we cannot be held responsible for the responsibility of our sectors in the society. If there is anger in the society which needs to be addressed, let us find the root cause of that anger and deal with it collectively as a people and we must deal with it as, a, as journalists, as doctors, as engineers, as drivers, as masons, as carpenters and as all citizens of this country. We will not allow ourselves to be held as scapegoats for the misbehavior and irresponsibility of national leadership, says Mr. Pratt. According to him, the media is united in its resolve to fight off what they perceive as an attempt to muzzle them. On behalf of all those in media practice, we would like to serve a clear notice that we stand behind our leaders solidly. Nothing will shake our support for our leaders in this battle against the vowed attempt to cow us down. Wow. According to Kweti Pratt, yeah, that's some information there. Yeah, you understand? Like, you know, opinion in the air, what we are saying. Exactly. We all know what is happening. So you can't. And then also social media, no. Because now, all of us on social media, we see what is going on. So you can't come and tell us, eh, the media is trying to pollute Ghanaian's mind. Because this court proceedings here, even the youth, all of us are involved. Everyone is Everyone is interested. So you can't come out and say, say, meanwhile, you didn't specifically say, say, this media, this media. So judicial if if you can come back again. They should come back again, actually. <laughs> and, and this is what the NDC, the National Democratic Congress, I think is that the National Democratic Congress, NDC, and NEC calls on Ghanaians to rise up against the creeping culture of silence and dictatorship being imposed on the nation following the clandestine activities of some security agencies, embarking on the arbitrary and malicious arrest and detention of some citizens for exercising their right to freedom of speech and social media. It's noted that the letter from the judicial service seek to limit their right to freedom of speech and press freedom to mere praising singing of the judiciary. Even in the face of several unjust rulings from the apex court. Mm. Somebody forgot to see this happy. Because <laughs> now they brought so many allegations. Yeah. They want EC to come to the Westman but they were denied. They want this denied. And NDC can confirm that in, indeed they are hiding something. Serious. Because of what they brought out. Say so we should be careful what exactly. the media published. You know? Exactly. Oh. And yeah. according to the NEC, the judicial service has no right or authority to threaten anyone much less the media, for performing their constitutionally mandated duties. The, these are clear procedures laid out in our laws for dealing with specific infractions of the media ethics and law. We find a letter from the Judicial Service an affront to the free speech and uh, press freedom, which threatens the pillar of democracy that the people of Ghana have nurtured over the years. It therefore condemned the letter and called the judicial service to withdraw same, sorry, without delay as a sign of respect to the democratic culture, press freedom. The media have the right to publish whatever mm -hmm. information they want to, so they shouldn't like try and prevent us from doing our job. And what 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 at all does the constitution even say about the human rights? When you go to uh, Article One Two Six of the Nineteen Ninety Two Constitution, okay. that's a chapter. 012, that's a chapter 12 of the Constitution. It says, Clause 1 okay. Freedom and independence of the media are thereby granted. This is the, the national constitution, this is the 1992 constitution. That's well, the binding media is independent. They yes. shouldn't interfere in the work of the media. Yes, yeah, okay. they shouldn't interfere. Like, it said, free and uh, independence of the media is thereby granted. That is what the constitution is trying yeah. to say. 
and clause 2 subject to this constitution and any other law not inconsistent with this constitution there shall not be censorship in Ghana censorship is when you suppress the people okay. so the constitution is saying that there shall be no censorship that means you can't suppress the speech of the people the media in particular exactly this this <laughs> whole article is talking about the media yeah. and it said clause 3 there shall be no impediments to the establishment of private press or media and in particular there shall no be law requiring any person to obtain a license as a prerequisite to the establishment or the operation of a newspaper journal or any other media for mass communication or information clause 4 <laughs> editors and publishers of newspapers and other institutions of the mass media shall not be subject to control or interference by government, nor shall they be penalized or harassed for their editorial opinion and, and views or the contents of their publication. Exactly. This because is the media they are on their own. You can't control them. And yeah, and yeah, come. This is what the constitution is actually saying. And it's a clause five. All agencies of mass media shall at all times be free to uphold the principles, provision and objectives of the constitution and shall uphold the responsibility and accountability of the government to the people of Ghana. And I'm not going to court proceedings. And uh, what they brought out through their own delegates yeah. after a proceeding. And I'm going to out. And I'm journalist for a capture in their stories, in it's, their news. It's, from you, it's from you guys. Exactly. They are not forging or trying not to fake sound anything. to understand it. No. Oh. Um, like, you can't throw that into the eyes of people nowadays. Exactly. Everybody is becoming sharp and we all can see. Hmm. Um, to me, be. This is what the constitution is actually saying. So I, I don't see the reason why. Well, personally, you can see in all this, no, the media to have a lot to do. Exactly. There's a lot to play in all this because mm -hmm. we are not innocent. We are not innocent. Yes. And the DJ, after money, you have a cow, you are like, you are protecting the government, like the journalists, our interests and all that. But you see, I think say, you have to go back to our ethics and all that. The truthfulness, accurate information. If you go by all this, uh, because Prisla, in this modern Ghana, no, the media, no, they play a major part in all the, the judicial democracy. No, because some information is social media, and you're correct, but it's still there. And people still believe it. So the media don't have a role to play. And now, uh, and I think so they have to, I say, of course, we're not going to some workshop media for them. They, they brief us about our ethics. Because we're going to be very fit, some journalists. And then, yeah. So I'll, if there's our workshop and all these conferences for the journalists goes on, and I say, I'm try some media, I think so we'll stick to our ethics and all that too. I understand what yeah. you're saying, but a particular media house will prefer to be sensational. Exactly. Yeah. That is their style. Attention. Exactly. Uh -huh. That is their style. It's in the headline. Of course, not, it's different it's from the content. They just <laughs> want to be sensational, sensational. in their writings and yeah, in their sure. doings. They have their house style. Exactly. Every media house have their house style. So. Exactly. <laughs> so even what you're saying is very true. We have yeah. to actually remind ourselves yes. of our code of ethics as journalists. And, and, and as for this one, it's a serious threat. Yeah, it's true. Because um we have seen some of our colleagues die because of one or two reasons we have seen some of our colleagues not being able in fact some of our colleagues have been beaten and if in their line of there. duty <laughs> yes in and their line of duty the because hearing started no Ghana Queen has like some kind of misunderstanding or some kind of idea about the mm. Supreme Court that's like they are not real they are not as a way, but then you see, I'm going the press where I say, you are one the media, you know. I'm trying to people say there's something going on, I won't say it. Yes. Because, and this is, like, example, Madam Jane, like, they don't know if you know, or see on testify, MPP for also won't testify, Ghanaian, and that's the same idea about the Supreme Court. You understand? You know, I said, there was also more on the media for. Yes. Oh. So, it's <laughs> like, they are shooting themselves in the face. Exactly. They can they can't I mean <laughs> But can't. if say they have a they have a point to which come out yes and said, say, that's it. That. Media A you've done this, you should delete it, media yes. B. But you can't just generalize the thing now. No. It's causing no. confusion. No, no. <laughs> Open the Pandora's box and well, let's see what is inside. Exactly. What would be your final words to, to <laughs> our colleagues? Oh, okay, the journalists. Exactly. So my final words is Ijmana and he's a heading because I say we are the mouthpieces of the people, or be the We are the other in our final thing. So you should be mindful of the information we put outside, we publish, we write about. Because 
I say a quiet best out boy, and because he indeed ethics, no so. Truth and accuracy, you might find it, Juma. Naturally, because it's money, I ain't any one, eh? And a judicial soon. What did we bar? More specify, see, never we can know what you're talking about because it's here. We generalize that we don't know which media has specifically that that it's a little bit of a jealous for me. Juma ain't ye, ain't ye, and a queer bear, my ya. And the system, I can't even know, I can't even. I mean, you can't just make things in general. Be specific in what you are requesting the journalists or the media to do. Because when you bring a statement like this, you bring actually, you are arousing the emotions of yeah. the public. So please, in our own interest and in the interest of the public, please be specific in, in what you are asking the media to do. And the media as well. What I will say is that we have to still continue to be bold in whatever that we are doing. And we have to uphold our ethics, as she said, the truthfulness, the accuracy, the balance, the fairness, everything. Make sure that when you are publicating a particular story, uh, there is balance and there is hmm. accuracy. And also, I need to make a faster threat message to Emma because oh, yeah. you know what you are saying and you are following the code of ethics of journalism. Okay, so this is where we draw to the curtains uh, on broad daylight. We actually spoke about specifically press freedom and some threats coming. Um, from various angles <laughs> to the media. My name is Priscilla and I was here with the Lydia Aqua and this is Brody Lights. Until our next episode is a bye.